before this video gets started, I'd like to just pre-warn you that I did have a couple of small audio issues towards the end of the recording. While I've done my best to correct them and make things as even and as well presented as I can, they are noticeable. So I just want to take a second just to apologise. They will be fixed for the next video and I hope that you enjoy this one. Thank you. So this is what Rust looks like when it's on Mars. As part of my adventures into Rust, I've been spending some time playing with Brit on modded servers, such as this one, which is a Project Nova uh, Mars server, which is just unbelievable. They've done an absolutely amazing job of it. So uh, me and Brit were messing around on it a little bit yesterday, so I've come back today to try and see what I can get done. There's a bunch of the regular monuments, obviously outpost, mining outpost. Um, the military facility and the crash ship are something I haven't seen before, but there is a large oil rig, there is a launch site, there is a satellite dish and a gas station as well. So we'll have a good run round and we'll see what if anything's different about any of them and I figured this might be kind of an ideal place to get some practice in at the moment there's no one else on this server not live at the moment anyway there's other bases there's a few other bases but I figured this might be a good place to get in some practice for real life oil rigs and everything else because I haven't got to worry about boats and losing stuff and having to get there and back i can just throw a bag down near the launch site or near the oil rig or near whatever it is and go from there so we've got a good amount of stone and wood so yeah like i said i'm gonna head to this sort of b1 this is like just off the road just around here somewhere this corner of b1 i think somewhere that's out the way because there are oh there's an old base there come back to that see if I can get into that in a bit get a little one down for ourselves first right now that we have our bag down a little basic base just a little two by one nothing crazy there's no one else on the server so i haven't got to really worry about it too much um right now tc down it's locked like that let's go and have a little explore around and see what we can find God, the fact that everything destroys with just one bash is huge for me as well nothing more frustrating than just standing there banging barrels these ones just disappear just like that love it Oh, also the snowmobiles are on here as well and they work like they just as well on sand as they do on snow which on a server like this where everything's quite small and and compact it is oh there's a decayed base over here i wonder if there's anything well it's either decayed or raided one of the two maybe that's something maybe it's raided i don't know i can't imagine anyone leaving it like this Oh, here we go. Oh, that'll do. There's launch site there, obviously. Also, another bonus to this server is no night time. It's kind of huge. I hate night time. It's the worst. And all you have to do with these going obviously you can buy more tanks but just going into the machine just touching it refills your tanks so that you can just keep roaming is that another decay base over here we'll bear that in mind so remember where that is so this is outpost obviously the same as the same things here as there would be at any other outpost i suppose Right, now we've done that, what we got? We've got a relatively good amount of stuff. What I want to do now, what I want to do now is run round to gas station, see what's in this locked crate that's around there. And then we'll start thinking about some monuments. Cheeky little snowmobile buddy. As much as I like these snowmobiles, they are not the easiest thing to control, are they? Now this is a gas station. 
a little bit different to most, I suppose. There is up the top there, there's a green card room as well, along with the regular recyclers and everything else. Where's that? Yeah, there is something. So how long is this going to take? Five minutes. Lovely. Can handle that. Oh, hello, DB. I think what I'm going to do, that's still got four and a bit minutes left on it. So I'm going to jump on this. I'm going to go get rid of the stuff that I've got on me now. Dump that back at the base. And then by the time I come back, I'll be empty and ready to go again. Let's go back and see what's in that lock crate. Oh yeah, there is still an attack helicopter knocking around though. Gotta watch out for that. He's particularly vicious on here for some reason as well. There he is. That's the sound of the crate opening. Oh, come on. How have I managed to get stuck under here? What's happening? Does he know I'm here? It certainly seems like it. Something I wasn't aware of about the attack helicopter is that if it knows where you are and there's no one else around, it will just circle you until it finds you. I suppose on busier servers when there's more people, it gets easily distracted by those other people. But here, I had to just sit in the gas station and wait for what felt like an eternity for it to get bored and eventually leave. By this time, the attack helicopter knew exactly where I was and was just endlessly firing missiles at me. So I figured the best way to get around this would just be to go for a suicide run up to the roof. If it kills me, it kills me. And I can always respawn and try again when it's gone. Right, finally, locked crate. Hit the ammo drop on the way back. There's all the old stuff. Zoom scopes, chainsaws. Ooh, ooh, hello. Okay. Okay, that'll do. So... That stuff can go in there. First place I think I'm going to head is probably... I want, should I just go all in and just try and go straight for the oil rig? I've got a lot to lose, have I? Let's, yeah, screw it. Let's, have I got any clock? No, let me get some bandages. Can't take everything super seriously, can I? Try and get everything perfect beforehand. No good. So we'll just get some ba some bandages, and then we'll try and crush some scientists. We're here more for aim training and game training than we are for loot, so... I've got to say, though, the fact that someone has taken the time to put this absolutely ridiculous server together is amazing to me. Like, hats off to everyone who was involved in this one. There's four, how many is there? One, two, three, four. Killed him. I reloaded before I tried shooting him, wasn't it? Idiot. Where is he? Where's he gone now? Oh. How did I miss that? He was stood still. Come on, man, you got to remember to reload. He knew exactly where I was.
killed him. Oh, reload, man. Come on. Hit him. Killed him. Shit, where's he? Oh, no! Shit. Shit. Alright, let's try again. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him again. Here we go. Yes. There we go. They know I'm here. God, I can hear them. They're all over the place. Listen, that's a bit. What is it shooting? What? Oh, is that there? Hit him a couple of times. I don't know if I killed him there. No. Yep. Yes, killed him. Right. I'm not going to make it much further than this, I can feel it. Oh, health pen. No. Right, so that's the bottom level cleared. That feels like a win. I'll keep an eye on this air though. Fuck off, bruv. How have they managed to chase me all the way back outside again? Got him. Got him. Hit him again. Killed him.
Loot him. How many more levels up have I got to go? At least two. I think that's a full loop round, so there's no one below me now. God, I can hear them absolutely everywhere. Where are they? How am I doing option wise? Not great. Last time. That's 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 good. The downside is I have no weapons in here now. I don't think <laughs> other than a sword. Oh, well, I might have to make it work with a pistol. All right, third time lucky. I know now pretty much what to expect. There's more as you as you get further up. It seems like there's more scientists. Getting there though. We're getting there. I'm absolutely in love with this server though. It's so much fun. Big big props to the people at Project Nova that designed it. It's amazing. Right. I got uh, one, two, I was on the third level, so I think I've got one, two, three left to go. So there's two of them up there. They might be the two that I was fighting before. another one on this level the top level there right so I am nearly there
kill them. Oh god, there's bloody loads of them. What's happened there? Oh, oh. oh it froze? No way it froze then. Can I crawl off the edge, do you reckon? Come on. Oh, you son of a bitch. I can't let them win. I can't let them win. Where can I buy a gun from? There it comes. Where is, there it is. Look. These are those comments, asteroids I was talking about. So that crashes down like that. It will burn like that for, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes. And then it's absolutely full of sulfur ore and metal ore and HQM ore. All sorts. But it takes about 10 15 minutes to burn out, so. Plenty of time for me to go and get killed at the oil rig again. Get a green card while I'm here as well, I suppose, can't I? Oh, crossbow will do as well. That'll do nicely. To do is just hit some boxes. Um, I might just buy another couple of these as well, just to be sure. Hit some boxes on the way there. Hopefully, there'll be some more. There'll be some more ammo in it because we're running a bit low. Do you know what? It's not that far out the way. I might just go and get it. It's not that far out the way, is it? They always seem to drop at either, either the gas station or satellite dish as well. I'm not quite sure why. Please have lots of useful ammunition in it. Please. 11. It's better than nothing. Right. What is this? Fifth time lucky? Fourth. Fourth or fifth? Awful fifth time lucky, one of the two. But I'm starting to get a bit of a better feeling about it. Now I know what to expect. I wouldn't say I'm confident by any measure, but I'm a little more comfortable, let's say. I'm just hoping that it hasn't been so much time now that all those ones at the bottom have started respawning. Because if they have, I'm going to be very unhappy. Can't see any on these bottom levels. I can hear someone though. Who the fuck was that? Where's he shooting from? Oh, you prick. I think I hit him. I don't think I killed him. I might have killed him. I don't think I did. Where are you shooting from? There's no way I'm gonna do this with a fucking bow and arrow. Oh, I fucking did. I did. I killed him. Yes, there we go. So what I think I'll do is I'll just run a lap of each level just to make sure I'm not leaving anyone out behind. No one can sneak up from me. Sneak up on me, sorry. I did kill that guy as well. Right, I think that's this level clear. At least it seems to be. So. Now this level should be pretty much clear because I cleared most of them out before. I think if I'm lucky, my body will still be on the next level up in about the same place. I shouldn't have despawned yet. I haven't been that long. And from what it sounds like, all the remaining scientists are above me as well. Have a quick check out through the rest of this level and then I'll go up.
Right, so there's no one on this level. <sighs> right, here we go. Is that a dead end? Yeah. Top two levels. Here we go. This is going to be where it gets crazy, isn't it? And just like that. Killed him. Where's he shoot? Oh, he's up there. Killed him. That was terrible. It was all over the place. Oh, fuck off. Piss off, mate. Two. Come on, I want that top level. Yes. Come on, top level, bitch. God, I was hoping this was going to be open. Right. Right, there's a recycler over there, which is handy. That means I can... Killed him. There's another one somewhere. Where is he? Oh, there's a red card room. I've never been in one of them before. I can hear another scientist. I just can't see him. Where are you, Mr. Scientist? I know you're here somewhere. Any second now, he's going to start shooting at me and I'm going to absolutely crap my pants. I can feel it. Maybe I've got them all. Maybe he's in the red card room, I suppose. Right, he's definitely not up here, is he? Right, first first of all, let's see what's in the blue card room, wherever that is. That's mine, isn't it? Yeah. Love that, love that. come back for a lot of this stuff. Right, there should be. Isn't there a red card in here? I thought there should be a red card in here. Can I not even get into the red card room? Red card anywhere? No. I can't believe I've messed that up. I thought that if you had... I thought the green card got you into the room where you got the blue card and the blue card got you into the room where you got the red card. But I must have been wrong. It's going to be in the bloody red card room, isn't it? Yeah. Come on, red card. Where are you?
here's what we're gonna do. I can't carry all this stuff anyway, and it looks like I need a red card, which I can't seem to find anywhere at all. Unless where's the green card room? I am really frustrated about the fact that I didn't know that the blue card room didn't give you a red card. I thought it did. Why did I think that? I bet there's something really obvious that I've missed. Here it is. Another green card. That's helpful. There's so much of this stuff I'm going to have to come back for. Jesus Christ. Right. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to dive down to the bottom. Come back at the base. Come back from the base with another thing. And then that bag's already there, in it? I can just stash that. And then go from there, I suppose. Does that make sense? Yeah. Screw it. Right. Start back from here. Anybody, I can go and get my guns. Hopefully the scientists haven't started respawning now. This is the beauty of having a server with no one else on it. Because I can just jump off an oil rig in a suicide way and not have to worry about it. Because I know there's no one else here to, to rob all my stuff. Is that a scientist? You son of a bitch. Are they all back? believe they're back that's annoying are they gonna be back all the way up no they can't be I've only just killed them top ones oh they are they're all back it's a good job I jumped off with the bulk of the stuff in it Killed him, I think. Oh god, maybe not. Definitely, pre definitely the king of pressing the wrong buttons. I know that. Got him. <sighs> right, looks like we're fighting our way back to the top again then, doesn't it? I thought it took longer for them to respawn, but I mean, saying that, it has been 40 minutes since I got these ones, I suppose, isn't it? Is there any more down here? I don't think so. They're all back. Oh, what's going on? Oh, I've run out of oxygen. Oh, my God. This is getting frustrating now. Scientists. I hate scientists. I'm really annoyed that you can't put a bag down anywhere anywhere closer as well. If I've got this far and I've screwed it because I've missed 
the spot where the red card is. Can someone let me know? I'll be furious with myself, but I'd, I'd need to. I think I need to know for next time because this is a uh, this is a lot of work for me to put in to not really get a ton back in return. So I'm going to try and start. Yeah, I can see they've all respawned now, so I'm going to yeah start shipping stuff out. I suppose. For Christ's sake. Alright, where did my gun go? Oh, where are you going? Try and get the stuff out of here. Oh, I'm annoyed I've lost that bolty. It's probably somewhere really obvious, I just can't see it. Need some oxygen. Let's see if we can't get the rest of our stuff back. Careful, they don't see. Me. There we go, just like that. This gun, this gun is going to do less than nothing. Couldn't just let me crawl away, could you? I think I might call that a day there. I think I might stick it out on this server for another for another week or so just because I do want to get that. I want to get prepared and go back and get that properly. But I also want to check out this crashed ship. We had a look at me and Britt had a look at it briefly the other day, but I never got a chance to finish it. I want to have a look at that and I want to have a look at the military facility because I have no idea what that is. Everything else, launch site and satellite dish are monuments that I've seen on on regular um, on regular maps, you know. Um, but a military facility I've never seen, and it looks interesting. It looks like it's built into like a like a thing that's built into a mountain. So that looks quite cool. Um, and obviously, I want some revenge on this. I might, yeah. So I might stick it out for another for another few days on here and see what I can make happen. I mean, the base that me and Brett had that was over here, the C two sort of area, was the one that was raided. So there are obviously other people that are coming on here and, and raiding and, and playing as well. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. If I get raided, then I might I might go back to regular Rust. And I'm excited about this 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 server. It's a lot of fun. It's just it's such an insane server. I really enjoy it. So I might I might stick it out here for a little bit longer. But we'll see what happens. <laughs>